Opening the main card of UFC 250, we have longtime UFC veteran and former WEC bantamweight champion Eddie Wineland taking on rising prospect and contender series alum Sugar Sean O'Malley. Wineland has 10 wins in the UFC alone, whereas Sugar Sean only has 11 fights total, but he's won all 11 and he's 3-0 in the UFC. Eddie Wineland's been long one of those fighters who's a threat on any night. He can beat a lot of guys, but he's consistently struggled against the upper echelon guys of the division. Uh, which is where Sugar Sean definitely believes he belongs. Uh, with that being said, though, he's fought everyone you could think of at 35. I mean, from Uriah Faber to Joseph Benavides to Henan Barrow when Henan Barrow was Henan Barrow, uh, John Dodson. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, unfortunately for Eddie, he's lost all those big fights. Um, nonetheless, he's 10-9 in the UFC, 24-13-1 uh, and one overall. And he's been holding it down for the company for about 10 years, which is something you got to respect. Um, his most recent win was against Grigory Popov, which was about a year ago to the day. Um, and while there will clearly be a discrepancy in experience going into this fight, um, is there a discrepancy in talent? Give me your thoughts, me boy. Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, but I truly think that Sean O'Malley is the next big thing. I mean, he's even got the hair now. Uh, Takashi six nine. You know, he's rocking it. Sure. It looks actually pretty sweet, uh, honestly. Um, but no, I mean, he's eleven and zero. He's a heavy favorite. He's twenty five years old. He's an upcomer. So it does seem like UFC's kind of gave him a little bread and butter, kind of building up his brand. Um, but yeah, I think he's gonna steamroll through this guy. I honestly think it's gonna be a thirty second knockout first round. Um, at least a first round knockout, I, I personally believe, but it would be cool to see some of his grappling. I know that he is a purple belt, um, possibly brown belt now, but he's, he's almost a brown belt, if anything. Um, but yeah, he's definitely moving up in the ranks and I think he's championship material. Yeah. And that, that, you bring up a good point. The jujitsu aspect is interesting because Eddie Wineland's only a blue belt. So, um, I, I tend to think that O'Malley will have the striking advantage and if it gets to the mat, I think he might have an advantage there as well. And so I guess my question is, is it possible that O'Malley is too cool, um, perhaps too overconfident in looking over a grizzled vet like Eddie Wineland, or is Sugar Sean O'Malley just straight up that much better at this point uh, in their careers? Yeah, I'm personally not concerned about it. Yes, uh, Wineland is a vet, and he has been through some wars and battles and gone through, gone versus some of the best in the world. Um, O'Malley has, I mean, he's gone through some very good people, but definitely not world-class like Wineland has. Well, it seems like we're on the same page. I mean, we're both uh, pretty bullish on O'Malley. I'm not quite sure about the, you know, 30-second finish. Um, I do think that he could stop Eddie Wineland, even though Wineland's not a dude who's been stopped in the UFC too, too many times. Um, I mean, I think the last time he got knocked out was was by the boy Johnny Eduardo. So it's been a it's been a hot minute since Eddie, Eddie Wineland's been finished. Um, but I'm absolutely with you. I think O'Malley is a lock. Uh, in fact, you might see that text meat locker on the screen. This is, in fact, our uh, meat locker of the night. Um, and the meat locker pick of the night isn't always going to be a sexy pick. It's uh, might even be a no brainer. But guys, it is a slowly marinating money steak that you can take to the grill every single week. So on every fight card, we'll have our meat locker of the night. Uh, for this one specifically, we'll be throwing down 100 bucks to profit 25. Again, a slow marinate, but a lock nonetheless. So, uh, O'Malley, meat locker, throw it on the grill and get the bill. I, I truly think that. He's going to steamroll this guy, and I mean, he's a blue belt. A blue belt. 